up to her and say, where do you lie? Yeah. No, no, it's a, it's a not dead dealer. Yeah, it's a matter of you. Live. Peace. Word. No, I don't know if I'm going to have my voice in the recording. I don't know if I'm going to have my voice in the recording or have it as questions yet, so I'm just going to speak as if I'm talking to you in an interview and we'll just go from there. You say where do you lie and we'll say this is in the end, this is the middle. Okay, cool. Roll it. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Are we? Yeah, Zach okay. will cut that bit out. Yeah. Let's do it in post. Okay, let's do it post. Are we looking at it? Yes. Okay. Uh, you want to slip down the lens or? <coughs> Whatever. Uh, Whatever you, you want to do. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. We're DLO. And this is, is the, the metal, metal Review. Hi guys, welcome to the Metal Review. Um, it's obvious you guys have been around for a long time. Thinking back to your music when you first created it back in those days, compared to now, has it changed much? Yes. Yeah, we're always looking to evolve our sound and change our dynamics ever so slightly. So how does, what's the difference, would you say, is compared to what you used to compose back in the day compared to these days? Uh, I think technically we're kind of better players. Like, we've definitely evolved and become better players since the beginnings. But uh, it's yeah. a little more focused as well. So your full-length album called Lumen, uh, which was all independently funded by yourselves. Did you guys come across any in, any challenges when recording that album? Anything that stood out? A lot, yeah. Yeah? That was the first experience for us. Uh, we have recorded a fair few things before that ourselves, other projects and stuff, but this is the first time we actually got other professionals involved on that level. So, you know, a lot of power was taken away from us that that moment, and it took a little bit of adjustment to, you know, hand the ball over to someone else. And, you know, trust, trust someone them. else. Yeah. yeah. But at, at the end of the day, we end up with a really good product and we're happy with it. You know? And um, it's obvious that you guys have maintained a great reputation in the metal industry. What would you consider to be your most greatest achievement, should I say, to date? Your greatest achievement. Should I do that one again? No. Uh, no, that's good. That's cool. Okay, greatest achievement. Today. Greatest achievement. Ooh. You can say them individually, so what would your personal greatest achievement be, band-wise? Don't take mine. Tonight, show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take Mix, and I think it would be supporting Dylan Your Escape Plan in Brisbane. Yeah, I think that's a consensus vote there. Yeah, we've supported a lot of other international renowned acts, but to us, Dylan Your was probably the big one. Really that was our first big international support, and a big influence on us, so I think yeah, in the early days, yeah, they were definitely what sort of brought us together as a band. Our shared love of that band. No, it's good to hear. Because it's not really contained within our style, but no. it's sort of all just in this. I'm that ever. Alright, so now, thinking outside of music, <laughs> just something interesting for the fans, do you guys have any hobbies that wouldn't quite be considered metal? Anything out there that you do in your spare time that people don't know about? I'm an avid horticulturist. Yes. Interesting. Yes. He's good. I do a lot yeah, of bonsai. I have a very green thumb. Yes. <laughs> That's not metal. It's not really metal. It's I wouldn't admit that. It takes a lot of time. <laughs> it takes patience. patience, yeah. Definitely. You know, it's not really all about raw energy and... But yeah, bonsai. I like. I love bonsai. And what about you guys? I love ball, <laughs> basketball, NBA. Yeah, that's probably pretty hip hop. Not very metal. Yeah. What about yourself? <laughs> uh, me, I have a huge soft spot for my pet dogs. <laughs> 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 I have two little puppies, and I just love them to death. It's good that's to know, because I wouldn't have picked that, but that's, yeah. it's good to know, it's good go. to know. I thought a dog though, like, Papillons, which, uh, they're like, I don't know, they've got huge ears, so Papillon like, is French for butterfly. They look like They do. Ewoks. They're little, <laughs> it's kind of like a cross between uh, Gizmo, or Mogwai, from Gremlins, yeah. and like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so on that note, something else that's interesting that I'd like to know. Being in a band, guys, I'm sure there's obviously a lot of drinking stories or practical jokes that you play on each other. Anything out there that comes to mind that you've done to each other that you're not particularly proud of? Anything like that? This is going to shock the press. I'd love to make up an outrageous yeah. story right now, but we're pretty we're sedated a bunch of guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We like, you know, we enjoy hot coffee in the morning and uh, a single malt at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's a single, single malt, <laughs> not multiple. Not multiple singles. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're party, but for very short 
the most sporadic periods. That might change on tour, who knows? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. But getting back onto the music side of things, what can we expect to see next? What's on the cards? A lot more of a yeah, focused attack. Um, our last album was sort of a, a bit of a sampler, if you will, about, you know, how, I just wanted to show our diversity of our sound. Um, it wasn't a, as focused of a, a, a product as probably what it should have been, but um, the next one, I think, yeah, we're really going to try and aim towards something that we we're to take something from the last one and just focus on that solo instead of trying to be Jackson and Trades. We want to be King and everything, so. Awesome. That's the plan. Great. Um, well, guys, thank you very much. Do you have any last words for your fans? Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, stick to the metal review because it's sick. <laughs> metal review. The metal review rules. We'll see you uh, overseas soon. <laughs> Can't wait to get over there. Awesome. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Ah, that was awesome.